not just make it a, a game. Exactly. Second of the bronze medal bouts between Turkey's Enes Özdemir and Japan's Oi Bonada. Number two. Ali Sofoglu did compete. He came into the competition. He was he was in the eliminations. Yes. Um, but didn't prevail this time. He he chose not to compete in the European Championships. Oh, he did. I don't know if he's been carrying uh, injury or if there was any rationale behind that. He did the team event and, of course, took gold. Okay. I saw his uh, round robin, one of his katas, general round robin. He looked very good. Uh, I don't know the results. It wasn't my ring. But... Uh -huh. uh, um, but I know he is uh, still performing at a high level. But, you know, many of these round-robin events were decided by one-tenth of a point. Wow. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. So tough. And only the winner of the group gets out of the round. Only, which usually means you've won every match. Yes. Not automatically, but usually. And it's always the mayor performed thank you show in the quarterfinal. Sunara Ali performed Pap Karen in the quarterfinal. Chatnyara in the semi final. Ozdemir will perform first in red and he was fifth in Cairo he didn't compete in Rabat or Fukuoka he has been a gold medal winner in the Karate One Premier League on two occasions yeah. Yeah. he's been a very solid performer for the last couple of years I've been watching him so. he's still a very young athlete 21 years of age he was the gold medal winner in the under 21 European Championships in Cyprus this year. He's taken that title yeah. three times at under 21 level. Which is another indication of uh, not just Youth League, but the under 21 exactly. category. A nice pipeline and is showing itself. We're seeing so many young players who are coming into the senior ranks early but already polished. Yeah, the, lots of experience already, yes. And, and there has been, over the last year, or certainly since the Olympics, a changing of the guard. Mm -hmm. Well, it's bound to happen, but also it's a good thing that it happens you know, for yeah. the sport. Yeah, of course. So he is also performing Unsu, which we saw in the previous bout. And for me, it's always interesting how people can perform the same kata, slightly variations, but still very solid. Yes. That was tremendous speed in that sequence of yes. blocks and strikes. And for those who are not familiar with this kata, there is a sensational jump at the end, which is a a major part of the kata. Yeah, it's a, I think it's 540 degree turn jump mm -hmm. and sometimes performed with a kick in the back. Yes. This is uh, Fudadachi, one of the stances. Or an immovable stance. Yeah. Here, wait for the jump. Excellent. Okay. Very impressive. Yeah. Very, very powerful, very strong.
consistent from start to finish. Tempo, the rhythm of the kata was yeah. very good. Unada Oi, no doubt, well, it, want to improve mm -hmm. on that. Suprempe is his choice of kata. He well, takes what? that final breath to just calm himself before he makes his well, way to the starting position. Watching the quarter and semifinals previously is that many of these matches, these competitors could have easily have been in the gold medal matches, but it's just the decision at the time. Yes. Yeah. And at this level, it, it is indeed about the margins, isn't it? Absolutely. That's where you have to look at everything. And, and that's where the experience of the judges is very important at this level. Good tension in the hara. Very different style of kata compared to the Shotokan yeah. of Ansu. Yeah. Yeah. Again, this is from the family of what we call Nahate, in which a dynamic tension is more prevalent than, say, with the uh, Unsu, more part of the what we call Shurite, another area of Okinawa, which is known for its quickness and its flexibility and jumping. Uh -huh. This will be interspersed with quick movements. Certainly are quick. Yes. And precise. And precise, of course. But the difference is if they can do it quickly with power and del instead of just moving fast. Be some should be some powerful turns coming up and the kick yeah there are several dynamic kicks in the cut yeah good, good speed good power So his feet, hands stop at the same time. They're coordinated well. So as a referee, as a judge, are you starting to think you're, you're looking at the scores? Is, is it a bit like a synthesizer where you're, you're going up, going down? Or this is good, that's not so good. How does that it, it, go in, in your mind? It can be. Usually at the beginning of the kata, I have a feeling of the range I'll be within, and then I start looking, do I go up or down from that point? Yeah. And you're carrying the thoughts of the previous athlete in, in a head-to-head -head like this? Not directly. I, I, eventually you have to make a decision. So if it's close, try to be as pure as possible. Yep, absolutely. But, but, and then compare if needed. Yeah. You know, were there any deductions in the previous? If you think the they're previous? incredibly close. Yeah. And this is a, a, a long kata, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the longer katas in the, on the uh, kata list. And also because there, there are these slow periods, right? So it takes a little bit longer. Very nice double kick. 
many good cut the performers cannot perform the kick like that. So. Both exceptionally good kata. Yes. And the judges all have different backgrounds too. Their training is in uh, different styles as primary. So is the primary. panel, is the panel just so it's clear, for example, all Shotokan or all Shitoru, they have, do they have a mix? They have to have a minimum of a third degree black belt or above from their national federation recognized by WKF. And it could be in any uh, one of many different styles. Yeah, but the panel of seven yeah. We'll have a mix of styles. They can have Wadoru, Shotokan, Gojuru, But it would Shitoru. be unusual for them all to be from one style? Very unusual. Yeah. And will it be red or will it be blue? And it went there in favor of Osdemeyer, 44.2 against 43. Both 